what is up guys welcome back to let's play bomberman hero i have completely lost track of the episodes i guess 17 maybe 16 shit i don't know we're we're just we're just going we're going with the flow now man it's we're on a roll you can't stop us so uh planet four may zone area two the slush mountains heaven sky here we go i snake that sounds like a level i want to play i snake uh Okay, so this is another flying level. It's not as bad as the bomber copter levels. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's worse. I hate these levels worse than the bomber copter because the bomber copter, you just float and drop bombs on things. These ones, like, I don't know if you have to kill all the enemies in these ones, but it seems impossible and extremely difficult. These things are exactly carbon copies of the Crash Bandicoot enemies from Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. If you remember, um, there's a few levels on there, the futuristic levels called, one of them's called Future Frenzy. No, Future Frenzy is a video game. <laughs> a multiplayer video game for Xbox. Um, but you know what? It might be... No, Fusion Frenzy. Oh, look. Multi-area levels. Can I get through here without dying? If I get that hard, I can. Um, no, it is called Future Frenzy. Fusion Frenzy is the game I was thinking of. But yeah, Future Frenzy, and it's got those enemies that do the beams. And they're just like this. They look exactly like this, except they do red beams. And, uh... Wow, triple level, dude. Give me the heart, thank you. <gasps> the Uranus Bomb. I totally forgot about the Uranus Bombs. Okay, and we've got a boss here, guys. And this guy looks exactly like the boss of... Well, to me, he looks similar to the boss of... Um, well, he looks like Twin Mold, kind of. Also, the boss from... Fuck, 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 what's the game? Uh, Star Fox 64, the one you fight on Titania, where you lose Slippy, and you gotta go find her. He looks just like the boss of that. So you gotta kill his two heads, then you gotta hit his middle core section. But then he starts blocking it, so you gotta kill the heads again. He's basically a Hydra. This level, why isn't this level called Eye Snake? And then he opens his vulnerability and you pelt his fucking midsection. Bam! And his heads grow back, okay. If I do this on one life, that's pretty amazing. He doesn't really attack you though. Open! Man, those, those visual effects are killer, dude. Stellar. There we go, he attacked me. Ah! That almost hit me. Okay, you should be dead, dude. Come on. It's, it's randomly timed how when he guards his body and... Oh, there it goes. How he guards his body and then, based on the head, regenerate. You could time it if you... Didn't I just get a one-up? When did I die last time? I don't know. Okay, we gotta do Heaven Sky again. whoop de fucking do There's probably a faster way to go through this. But yeah, those enemies look just like that. The only difference is they shoot red beams instead of green. Dude, Naughty Dog should fucking sue. Just sue the shit out of, uh... Who makes this game? Bondi? No. Hudson. Hudson Soft. Same people that make Smash Bros. Hm. Interesting lawsuit. Who's got more money? Welcome to corporate America, folks. Who's ever got more money is right. That's how it works here. And then these chain chomps with ball sacks on the end of them, swinging them around like they just don't care. Swing your balls in the air like you just don't care. Do your balls hang. This is where the third is. Oh, there's the Uranus bomb. Got it. Okay, yeah, I skipped a lot, dude. I don't know what I did differently, but apparently I went through a warp last time. That kind of. Okay, last time I got hit once, all the way through to the end of battle. Now I've gotten hit twice already. It's almost like, I know this seems like the case in a lot of games too. The more HP you have, the more hits you take. When you have less HP, you seem to be more like badass and you could dodge shit to no end. Makes it seem like a really like skillful playoff when it's really not. What's really happening is, okay, get your head out of the way so I can shoot your midsection, buddy. Thank you. And then when you have a lot of it, maybe, I mean, it could just be all in my, in your head. It could be psychological, you know, like, oh, I have a lot of HP. I'm going to play carelessly. And that's probably what they want you to think. But I truly think the, H I mean, it's very possible the HP, the amount you have could be coded and tied to how accurate their attacks are. Percentage wise, you know, like it wouldn't be hard to do. See, I get hit four times there in less time that I got hit once on the last You know what? I think they might have just... No? Maybe they started me off from the uh, third section? But it doesn't look like it. I thought the third section started at that 
that cross area. Look at these statues. Makes me think of Lost, man. It's been a while since I thought about Lost. Hmm. Good show. I mean, I could watch through it again. The only problem with watching through a show like that again is... Okay, you know what? I think it's tied to where you go through these. I think that uh, kind of affects things. Where did I go through last time? The middle or the... Yep, look, and that teleported me. Damn it. Okay, don't go through the middle note to self. I mean, I guess you have to do that if you want to get a five. That's the key, but... Stop swinging your testes everywhere. Okay, and we're down to one HP. Good, that means we'll play better. Yep, well, I was trying to get the heart, man. As Bomberman slides on thin air. Oh, this level's going to be fun. Well, I wanted to beat all of Area 3 by the end of this video, but we're already six minutes in and yet to beat one level. This is this is a good start. I like where this is going. These guys home indie on you, you fuckers. But what was I saying? I get sidetracked a lot, dude, and it's kind of makes me sad. Like, I bet you this has happened to me too when I watched LP videos. Sometimes like people will be going on with the subject and then they'll get sidetracked or talk about something else or something will happen in the game and then they'll never get back to that subject and you're like, dude, what the fuck happened? I want to know. And, you know, they never finish the story. And a lot of times it's really big YouTubers, you know, these kind of guys that can't possibly answer to their messages or stuff. There's just too many. So then you're like, whoa, dude, like, I'll never finish that story. I'll never know. You know, whereas me, you guys could probably ask in the comments and I'd be like, oh, yeah, and I'd reply. But, you know, some people just can't with the straight up volume of shit they get. I think you can still hit through his hands. I think it's possible. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I saw that one coming and I tried to dodge it, but it was not. But yeah, the heads kind of go to block the midsection too. They keep it in front of it. Die, bitch. <sighs> of course, that head comes back as soon as I kill the other one. Got him. Got him. We got him. See, like, that one hit his midsection, but it didn't count. I think he's just vul not vulnerable during this phase when his arms are... Oh yeah, you can still get it even when the eyes are there. Interesting. I mean, it's too dangerous to leave them alive, though. They fucking shoot this shit, and with all this stuff going on, you can't even notice them. Go! Got it. Just, you know, the best strategy here, just, just evade. Move left and right. Fucking throw bombs. And then when you see his arms open, just launch at the middle till you get it. Fuck it. Launch! Got him. How's he not dead yet, dude? This is way too much HP for a mini boss. You know what I mean? And there goes the fatal blow. He died, okay. Kamehameha. But yeah, Lost, the thing that's hard for me to watch about it again is the backstories. I mean, the backstories of some characters are good, but there's just some characters I'm not that into, like Kate, like, uh, and every time I see an episode that's Kate-centric, it just irks me i can't watch it but you know then plot points are happening in between it and it's like you know i gotta see the plot points otherwise i'm gonna be you know if i start skipping episodes i'm not gonna really be caught up in the uh so this is a very interesting level very um accepting of all lifestyles i guess you could say it is a rainbow level and it's called eye snake and now we know why because there's a very phallic monster floating around in the background who we will no doubt have to fight he is shaped like a penis. That is what he does. Can we beat it on now? 2 HP. And he sends little liz he sends the little knife guys out to uh in the middle of his shots. Interesting. It's kinda like semen almost. God, could they have been any more 3D is hard. Could they have been any more obvious with their intentions here? Alright, and look at that. We're back up to 3 HP. You wanna fucking go, bro? You wanna duel? Ugh. I wonder if he can hit you. I seem to remember he can. Like he, fl uh, he flies by certain parts of the arena. Okay, you know what? I wasn't gonna try and risk jumping around here and killing these guys. Oh, good, the end of the level. Oh, these fuckers. Got you. One more. Okay, I guess we're not gonna have to fight the ice snake. Cool. I think he's what he's supposed to be is one of the heads of the Hydra you just killed flying around like as a rem remaining guy. Okay, so with that, we have 
finished the slush mountains. Now we're on to Maison Dome. And here's where we fight Natia. But look at this. We have an area starting with a nitrous fight. You don't see that very often. I think this is the final nitrous fight. I'm not sure. We'll watch the cutscene. I have a question for you, bomber man. What's up? We can't find the last disc. <gasps> not the last disc. Well, why does the text stay on the screen so long? Do you have it? Of course I don't have it, you dick. Bomber man's like, I will never give it to you. Oh, he does have the disc, no? Dude, I don't know. The story doesn't make sense. I'll defeat you and get the disc. We'll see about that, Nitrous. ka -ching! What's his power level? That's eh, like 70, 75. All right, come with it, bitch. Okay, let's, let's get him in that groove here. So the key is get close to him so that he does his jump attack. As soon as he initiates his nest jump attack, drop a bomb. And when you step away, only step a few steps away. That way he doesn't, he still does the jump attack. Oh, I died. I only had one HP, look at that. There's a new square on this one, it's the O's. What the O's do is when he steps on it, it sends a, uh... Mm, he got, he was smart to my ways. Aw, oh, fuck, dude, I'm fucking up. There we go. Took us a second, but we got it. Too far away. Nope, we're good. Sorry, this requires mild amounts of concentration. He's a little quick too, so if he might hit you if you're not careful, so that's not gonna hit him. What the fuck? Oh! Yeah, also when he, he has this move where he'll slide and kick bombs in this phase, I forget about it. But when he stands on the O, it sends a um, flying disc at you, like a flying saucer disc that just hovers around the stage. I don't think you could blow it up with bombs either. It just perpetually goes around the stage. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, nitrous. Nitrous oxide. Come at me, bro. Yeah, probably shouldn't set the bomb around before. Dude, he's, he's, he's taking me for a ride here. He's keen to my ways. Oh no, they shoot fire this time. That must be something else I'm thinking of. Yeah, you can't be too close, because... He'll, he'll kick you. About this distance seems good. That we have time to dodge his attack. I'm too close, he's gonna hit me. Had to pull some fucking jukes there. Oh, he still got it. Uh, there we go. Got him back in the rhythm. We good. Oh, did I beat him? Cool. Got him. Definitely not going to be a five. That was sloppy as fuck. Dude, I killed him at 1337, at least on my audio recording. Yeah, 65. It's all right. I think there might be one more nitrous side on planet five. I'm lying. Bomberman. What up, yo? Is it the princess? <gasps> princess of Genovia? It is. There are three more discs like that one. You don't say. Tell me more. Tell me more. I like this. You have a car? They're hidden somewhere in this dome. I have to collect them all to get to Gaiden. I think Gaiden is the last planet. Garadin. What is Garadin going to do with these discs? I don't know, but why are you smiling about it? Something big is going to happen. I can feel it. That's what she said. You can rescue me later. Wow, you don't seem very, uh, concerned with your torture. Find the other three discs, hurry. Okay, so first it's all, you can rescue me later. Then it's like, find the other discs, hurry. Bomberman is determined. As am I. Okay, so now we have to get the other three discs out of these rooms. The air room, zero-g room, and mirror room. Each with their own separate theme. Uh, you actually get to pick, well, you have to go into the glowing one, but it puts you here for effect, I guess, continuity, I don't know. But anyway, the goal here is not to get to the end of the level, but to get the disc. And that is purely 
it. At least as far as I know. I don't remember. Eh, that guy with the big pecker, man. So this is the air room. It contains lots of air. That propels you. It's like the Willy Wonka room, you know, basically is what it is. Fizzy lifting drink room. What am I supposed to just ride this all the way? Okay. Cool. Let's go. It can only go so high, and there's our disc. Boom, just like that. Okay, I guess you do also have to get to the end of the level. Oh, now here's what it is. The level end of the levels have doors, and to open the doors, instead of like four crystals from before, you need to have the disc. It's basically that. It's a key to exiting the room. So, kind of like the trick room in uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. You have to get the scroll and then get to the end. All right, now the zero G room. Hmm, I wonder what could happen in here. Zero gravity, maybe. Oh look, there is gravity. Lies. Oh, I thought that was a Uranus bomb, but it was, it was not. No, this room isn't actually, or this level isn't actually zero gravity, but um, I think there are switches that make it zero gravity. Okay. Why do you even have those platforms with fucking spikes on the bottom? What good does that do anybody? It's just obnoxious. All this music though, man, they definitely ran out of fucking ideas. Either that or they fi fired the fucking people who made it right at the end there. And I think these switches will turn it zero gravity, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> nope, just activates this. How boring. Okay, well there's the exit. Aha, uh -huh. that must be the switch that turns the zero gravity on. Can I... Ugh. The controls in this game are so slippery. If there's anything, that's one complaint I have about it. That and the depth perception. But, you know, Nintendo 64, they were just... Some 3D first came about. They were still working on it. Throw a bomb at the switch to jump higher. Whoa. Mind blown, dude. There we go. That's the zero gravity we're talking about. So, with this, an infinite number of things become possible. Kind of. Let's see what's up here. Fire. And... This. Do not hurt me, paper plane. I fly like paper, get high like planes. If you cut me in my butt... Okay, yeah, I think this is where... Oh, dear God. The only thing is, in zero gravity, you move super slow. Okay, that should have killed him. Cool, one up. Get the one up. Dude, that fucking snipe though. Also Uranus bomb? I don't know if we got the Uranus bomb out of the last area. I don't know how we're doing on those. Let's find out. Oh man, we we missed a good amount. We missed four of them. That's okay. Um, I will look at the Wikipedia page probably between episodes, tell you guys what at least it does. Oh look, and because we can uh, manipulate rendering items, we can see that the disc is actually under this platform. So, we need to get it off there, so let's go find the switch. And this is right above the room we entered. The switch is probably here, indeed. <laughs> oh, bitch! <laughs> Take this! love that. <gasps> no, I fell right into the hole. Okay, let's get the disc. Let's GTFO. I don't know, cool mechanic. Uh, Planet 4, you know, did try to implement a new lot of mechanics in here. I kind of like it. Although I feel like they should have spread it more thoroughly throughout the game to kind of have been funner. Like, maybe more Louie levels. I don't know. That was lucky, because I would have fell all the way down and that would have sucked. But now we are saved. Will I make it? Oh! Skills that pay the bills, baby. I did it! So yeah, there's that. Okay, we didn't quite get to our goal thanks to the uh, fuck-ups of the Heaven Road or whatever it was called, but that's okay. Next episode, we will take on the Mirror Room, the final room, and then we'll face off against Nadia and hopefully move on to the fifth planet. Um, Nadia is a hard boss, though, but hopefully we'll move on to the fifth planet, the final planet, and uh, we should be done within a few episodes, so I will see you guys then. Peace out, everybody.